if it works. Skyrim. Ooh. Yeah, let's see how this works, because I am on, um... I am on the quest, so a little bit of lag, maybe. Okay, okay. So we uh, streamed just a tiny bit, which was just the opening for this character, and then we kind of crashed, so we're just going to dive back in with this character. Yeah, we're a lizard man. That's pretty much all you need to know. That's all we've done so far. Ulfric Stormcloak. Some here in Helgen call you a hero. But a hero doesn't use a power like the voice to murder his king and usurp his throne. You started this war, plunged Skyrim into chaos, and now the Empire is going to put you down and restore the peace. What was that? It's nothing. Carry on. Yes, General Tullius. Give them their last rites. As we commend your souls to Aetherius, blessings of the eight divines upon you. For the love of Talos, shut up and let's get this over. Our... As you wish. Come on! I haven't got all morning! Look away if you squeamish. Smiling at me, Imperials. And you say the same. Fearless in death as he was in life. Next, the lizard! Here it is again. Did you hear that? I said, next prisoner! To the block prisoner. Nice and easy. That thing. Could the legends be true? Legends don't burn down villages. We need to move now! Up through the tower. Let's go! They're hurt, but they'll live. The whole tower. My hands are bound. Okay, so Let's can't go. pick up any. And keep going. Go. How do you jump? We'll follow when we can. Yeah. Yeah. One thing I heard was good for locomotion is just kind of running with it. Just walk towards me. Come on. 
You need to get over here. Now! That a boy. You're doing great. Toro! Everyone get down! Still alive, prisoner? Keep close to me if you want to stay that way. Gunnar, take care of the boy. I have to find General Tolias and join the defense. God's guide you, Hadbar. Stay close to the wall! Quickly, follow me! I went with the other guy last time. We'll meet again in Solemn Guard, brother. Looks like we're the only ones who made it. That thing was a dragon, no doubt. Just like the children's. We better get moving. Come here. Let me see if I can get those bindings off. There you go. You may as well take Gunnar's gear. He won't be needing it anymore. that armor on give that axe a few swings i'm going to see if i can find some way out of here ah this one's lost let's see about that gate damn no way to open this from our side Come it's on. the imperials they cover get this gate open Unlocks that door. <laughs> Unlock that door and let's get out of here. I'm really bad at throwing stuff in uh, with the quest. Maybe sideways I can do. That's it. Come on. Let's get out of here before the dragon brings the whole tower down on our heads. Oh man, I hurt myself with this thing. Wow.
I mean to eat both of them. Everything important and let's move. Dragon's burning everything to the ground. I just need to gather some more potions. You won't take us alive. See if you can find any pup. Oops. We'll need them. Idara and Daidara. The designations of gods, demons, Idara and Daidara are universally confusing to the layman. They are often used interchangeably. Adra and Daidra are not rel relative terms. Uh, they are elvish and exact. Azura is a Daedra, both in Skyrim and Morrowind. Adra is usually translated as ancestor, which is as close as Cyrodiilic can come to this elven concept. Daedra means roughly not our ancestors. This distinction was crucial to the Dummer, whose uh, fundamental split in ideology is represented in their mythological, uh, mythical genealogy. Adra are associated with stasis, Daedra represent change. Aedra created the mortal world and are bound to the earth bones. Daedra cannot create, um, have the um, power to change. Um, as part of the divine contract of creation, the Aedra can be killed, witness Lorcan and the moons. The Protean Daedra, for whom the rules do not apply, can only be banished. Interesting.
ポテトThere one with like a guy in it. Guess not. The Book of the Dragonborn by blah blah blah. Many people have heard the term Dragonborn, get where of course ruled by the Dragonborn Emperors, but the true meaning of the term is not commonly understood for those of us in the Order of Talos, this is a subject near and dear to our hearts. In this book, I will attempt to illuminate the history and significance of those known as Dragonborn. Down through the ages, most scholars agree that the term was used in connection with the covenant of Akatosh uh, when the blessed Saint Elysia was given something, something. Oops. Saint Elysia was given the amulet of uh, kings and dragon fires. In the Temple of the One, were first lit. Akatosh, looking with pity upon the plight of men, drew fresh blood from his own heart and blessed Saint Elysia with this blood of dragons and made a covenant that so long as, excuse me, Elysia's generations were true to the dragon blood, Akatosh would endeavor to seal tight the gates of oblivion and to deny the armies of Daedra and Undead to their enemies, the Daedra loving aliens. Those blessed by Akatosh with the dragon blood became known more simply as the Dragonborn. Connection with the rulers of the Empire was thus there from the beginning. Only those of the dragon blood are able to wear the Amulet of Kings and light the dragon fires. All the legitimate rulers of the Emperor Empire have been dragonborn. The Emperors and the Empresses of the first Cyrodiilic Empire, founded by Elysia, Raman, Cyrodiil, and his heirs, and of course Tiber Septim and his heirs, down to our most current Emperor, His Majesty Pelagius Septim IV. Because of this connection with the emperors, however, the other significance of the dragonborn 
has been obscured and largely forgotten by all those but scholars and those of us dedicated to the service of the Blessed Talos, who was Tiber Septim. Very few realize that being dragonborn is not simply a matter of heredity, being the blessing of Akatosh himself, it is beyond our understanding exactly how and why it is bestowed on those who become emperor and light the dragon fires are surely dra those who become the emperor and light the dragon fires are surely dragonborn. The proof is in the wearing of the amulet and the lighting of the fires. But were they dragonborn and thus able to do these things, or was the doing the sign of the blessing of the Akatosh descending upon them? All that uh, one can say is that it is both and neither, a divine mystery. The line of septums have all been dragonborn, of course, which is the one reason the simplistic notion of it being hereditary has become so commonplace. But we know for certain that the early Cyrodiilic rulers were not all related. There is also no evidence that Ramon Cyrodiil was descended from Elysia, although there are many uh, legends that would make it so, most of them dating from the time of Ramon and likely attempts to legitimize his rule. We know that the blades usually thought of as the Emperor's bodyguard originated in Akavari, Akavari uh, crusaders who invaded Tamriel in obscure reasons in the late, for obscure reasons in the late first era. They appear to have been searching for a dragonborn, the events at Hale Pass bear this out, and the Akavari were the first to proclaim Ramon Cyrodiil as dragonborn. In fact, it was Akavari who did the most to promote his long-standing I always do this with this book. I have gotten to, like, this part. This is as far as I've gotten. Um, let's see. Like, maybe one more room, I think. Um, when Misrule takes its place at the eight corners of the world, blah, blah, blah. I'm just gonna take the book. I'll read it later. Yeah. Okay. There's the weapons, but what about the, um, shields? Okay, where'd the guys go? They went down, didn't they? What's down there? What's down here? Right near the edge of my sight. Imperial dogs. There's nothing that's too low for them. This way. Orders are to wait until General Tullius arrives. I'm not waiting to be killed by a dragon. We need to fall back. Just give the general some time. Death to the Empire! Freedom! Osavitar! Yeah!
Oh, did I kill the wrong guy? I think I killed my own buddy. Oops. Let's go on ahead. See if the... I didn't mean to kill you. No. Oh, wow. Well. Let's see where this goes. <laughs> Spiders. Do you remember this? Tango with her right now. Let's try to sneak by. Just take it nice and slow. And watch where you step. <laughs> or if you're feeling lucky, you can take this bow. Might take <laughs> her by surprise. Go ahead. I'll follow your lead and watch your back. Bear, I'm gonna get attacked. Almost there. Phew. That was close. Where's he going? I think there's a way out there too. I hope someone knows where we're going. That looks like the way out. I knew we'd make it. I definitely haven't gone out here. <laughs> there he goes. Looks like he's gone for good this time. No way to know if anyone else made it out alive. But this place is going to be swarming with Imperials soon enough. We better clear out of here. My sister, Gerder, runs the mill in Riverwood, just up the road. I'm sure she'd help you out. It's probably best if we split up. Good luck. I wouldn't have made it without your help today. My sister, Gerder, runs the mill in Riverwood, just up the road. I'm sure she'd help you out. It's probably best if we split up. Good luck. I wouldn't have made it without your help today. So at this point, we're kind of on our own. He did say go to Riverwood if we see a sign for that. 
Ooh, a butterfly. You know, you should go to Windhelm and join the fight to free Skyrim. You've seen the true face of the Empire here today. If anyone will know what the coming of the dragon means, it's over. See that ruin up there? Bleak Falls Barrow. I never understood how my sister could stand living in the shadow of that place. I guess you get used to it. I think there's a way over there from here. See if we can make it and not fall in the river. Taking down the falls, aren't you? Uh oh. I got, I'm stuck. <laughs> Ain't this a surprise? You're a fool to fight me. Oh. 
Oh, I made them mad. Nah, this is the village he was talking about. What if I can make the uh, contrast brighter? Let's see. Playing on the lowest difficulty setting. Did I see you talking to Sven? Maybe not. Maybe. Never mind. But I would stay away from him if I were you. Fine. At least now I am. Are you hurt? What's happened? And who is this? One of your comrades? Not a comrade yet, but a friend. I owe him my life, in fact. Is there somewhere we can talk? There's no telling when the news from Helgen will reach the Imperials. Helgen? Has something happened? You're right. Follow me. Hold. Come here a minute. I need your help with something. What is it, woman? Stand drunk on the job again? Hot, just come here. <laughs> Raylo, what are you doing here? Ha, I'll be right down. Hush, Frodnar. This is no time for your games. Go and watch the south road. Come find us if you see any Imperial soldiers coming. Aw, Mama. <laughs> I want to stay in top with Uncle Rayla. <laughs> Look at you. Almost a grown man. Okay. It won't be long before you'll be joining the fight yourself. That's right. Don't worry, Uncle Rayla. I won't let those soldiers sneak up on you. Now, Rayla, what's going on? You two look pretty well done in. I can't remember when I last slept. Where to start? Well, the news you heard about Alfric was true. The Imperials ambushed us outside Darkwater Crossing. Like they knew exactly where we'd be. That was... Uh, two days ago now. We stopped in Helgen this morning, and I thought it was all over. Had this lined up to the headsman's block and ready to start chopping. The cowards! They wouldn't dare give Ulfric a fair trial. 
treason for fighting for your own hmm. people. All of Skyrim would have seen the truth then. Nope. But then, out of nowhere, that's a just my dragon attacked. You don't mean a real live? I can hardly believe it myself. And I was there. As strange as it sounds, we'd be dead if not for that dragon. In the confusion, we managed to slip away. Are we really the first to make it to Riverwood? Nobody else has come up the south road today, as far as I know. Good. Maybe we can lay up for a while. I hate to put your family in danger, Gerda, but... Nonsense. You and your friend are welcome to stay here as long as you need to. Let me worry about the Imperials. Any friend of Raylov's is a friend of mine. Here's the key to the house. Stay as long as you like. If there is anything else you need, just let me know. There is something you could do for me. For all of us here. The Jarl needs to know if there's a dragon on the loose. Riverwood is defenseless. We need to get word to Jarl Balgruf in Whiterun to send whatever troops he can. If you'll do that for me, I'll be in your debt. Thanks, sister. I knew we could count on you. I ought to get back to work before I missed, but... Did anyone else escape? Did Ulfric? Don't worry. I'm sure he made it out. It'll take more than a dragon to stop Ulfric's Stormcloak. I'll let them into the house and, you know, show them where everything is. Hmm. Help them drink up our mead, you mean? Good luck, brother. I'll see you later. Don't worry I'm about I'm glad me. to help any way I can. I know how to lay low. The Empire may have been good for Skyrim once upon a time, but those days are long past. Banning the worship of Talos was the last straw. Thalmor everywhere, dragging people off for honoring our own gods. I'm glad Raylof is helping drive them out of here. If I was a bit younger, I might have joined the fight myself. And by supplies, I suppose you mean weapons and armor? Alvor can help you out. He's our blacksmith. All I right, told then. you my sister would help us out. So you saw a dragon, did you? Tell me, what was it like? As big as a house? Well, I'll be. That would be a sight to see. Uh, not that I actually want to see one, understand. <laughs> I hope that dragon stays far away from here. I don't know what house she gave me a key to. Papa says I'm too friendly with strangers, but you seem all right. Ain't every day we get visitors in Riverwood. What is it now, Mother? Whatever you need. Yes, actually. How about you smith me an iron dagger? Here's everything you need to make one. Go ahead. I see no harm in it, if you have the skill. You looking for a new blade? I. Did he give me the iron stuff? Not 
not bad. Reminds me when I first started smithing. So you need ingot and leather strips for that. I could forge you a war hammer that would crush a giant's head like a walnut. Not bad, but it's a little dull. How about you sharpen it up? Just need a bit of metal and the grindstone over there. Mm -hmm. I The sneaky type got some nice daggers around here somewhere. This looks good. You put time into your blades, they'll serve you well when you need them. You want to keep helping? How about you make some armor? Let's start by tanning some leather on the rack. Good day. Looking for a new blade? Ah, good. A lot of weapons and armor need leather for straps, fittings, that kind of thing. Let's see if you can make a hide helmet. Here's the rest of what you need. Aye. I could. Huh. I should hire you to be my assistant at this rate. Let's improve the fit. Take this leather to the workbench over there. Aye. The sneaky type? Yes? You have talent. Keep working at your craft, and you'll be a fine smith one day. Why don't you keep that dagger and helmet? Maybe you'll remember me when you're making Skyforge steel, huh? Until next time. Where's my house? There's an inn there. So I'm not sure.
Yeah, sometimes I just don't jump. Yeah, I'm gonna quit out soonish. out now. Save and quit. Oops. Sorry, just trying to quit. Yo.